Hi everyone, I'm Pratima. I welcome you all to this video. So today I want to share an app that is GeoGebra, which can be used both online as well as offline, which is a very useful tool for teachers, especially mathematics teachers. When we are teaching online, sometimes we may not say show the graph of the functions or graph of the polynomials. So uh, let us begin directly. I'm going for class 10, the pair of linear equations in two variable, when they can be parallel, when there will be coincident lines, or when there will be intersecting at a points. So GeoGebra, we can download from Google Play also. It can be done in mobiles. So this is uh, my GeoGebra app. If you have downloaded, you can open. Offline also, you can draw. So I am not going for the all the tools today. Only I am showing how we can draw the graphs of these functions. So here, this is your input bar. I have taken the concept, find out whether the lines representing the following pairs of linear equation intersect at a point are parallel or coincident. I have taken exercise 3.2 of NCRT textbook, question number 2, part 1, 5x minus 4y plus 8 is 0, 7x plus 6y minus 9 is equal to 0. And we know that you will compare a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 here you will get unique solution. Unique solution means they will intersect at a point. So let us verify this. It will help for the teachers as well as the students to verify using the graph very quickly instead of drawing the graph. So I'm writing 5x in this input bar. I'm writing it is it has already started drawing, but I'll mm, write the whole sentence because it is drawing for y is equal to 5x only. So don't stop, write down the full equation for y, then plus 8 is equal to 0. So this is the graph. This is the first equation. Now I am drawing the second equation. I'll in, in this input box, I'll fill it. It will be 7x plus 6y minus 9 is equal to 0. So you can, see, you can see that, you can observe that they are two intersecting lines. So here we can compare a1 by a2 is equal to 5 by 7, b1 by b2 is equal to minus 2 by 3. So they are not equal to each other. Now let us go for another question. I'm taking now your second one. So I'm leaving the first one. Next coming to second one. Second one is two second is this graphs I am rubbing. Second part is 9x plus 3y plus 12 is 0, 18x plus 6y plus 24 is equal to 0. So what is a1 by a2? It is 9 by 18 is equal to half. What is b1 by b2? It is 3 by 6, it is also half. And what is 12 by 24? That is also half. That means we know that it will be a coincident lines. So let us verify from the graph. First equation is I'll write 9x plus 3 y plus 12 is equal to 0. So this is the line, first equation. Now coming to second equation. Second equation write 18x plus 6y plus 24 is equal to 0. See, this line is on another line. One line is another line. So this is known as coincident lines. So don't uh, 
be scared about this, what is written here. So whatever I'm writing here, it is showing it. This is called algebraic part platform in the GeoGebra. This is all your graphical mode. So um, then I'm coming to third part. So when A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 is equal to C1 by C2, you are getting all equal coincident lines. Coincident lines means one line comes over other. Next, I'm coming to third one. Question number two, third part. It is 6x minus 3y plus 10 is 0. 2x minus y plus 9 is 0. So what is a1 by a2? It will be 6 by 2 is 3. What is b1 by b2? Minus 3 by minus 1. That is again 3. c1 by c2 is 10 by 9. So a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2. So it gives us parallel lines. Let us see whether I am getting parallel lines or not. 6x plus, sorry, minus 3y plus 10 is equal to 0. So this is the line. Second equation is 2x minus y plus 9 is equal to 0. So you can see these are two parallel lines. So when a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2, we get two parallel lines. Now coming to next one. Next, I'll come to fourth part. It is question number three, part one. Before that, let me go to question number three, part one. Three x plus two y is five. Two x minus three y is equal to seven. So I'll draw the graphs and can you guess? Yes, it will be unique solution because 3 by 2 is 3 by 2, a1 by a2 is 3 by 2, but b1 by b2 is minus 2 by 3. So they are different. So let us check 3x plus 2y is equal to 5. Uh, I write minus 5 is equal to 0. So this is the equation. Next equation is 2x. 2x minus 3y minus 7 is equal to 0. So, are they intersecting? Yes, they are intersecting. Next, I'll show you can draw many graphs very quickly when you can download this act. It can be drawn on the, in the mobile also. Now coming to second one, three second one, two x minus three y is eight, four x minus six y is nine. So two by four, it is half, a one by a two is equal to half, b one by b two is minus three by minus six, again half, and c one by c two is eight by nine, which is not equal to half. So certainly you will get again parallel lines. Let us see, let us check. So three x minus Sorry, it is not 3x, 2x minus 3y is equal to 8. Second line, 4x minus 6y is equal to 9. You can see these are two parallel lines. You can change the color of the uh, line also. Now coming to last one, that is your question number three, last part, 5x minus 3y is 11, minus 10x plus 6y is equal to minus 22. So a1 by a2 is 5 by minus 10, it will be minus half, y b1 by b2 is again minus 3 by 6 minus half, 
C1 by C2 is 11 by minus 22, that is also minus half. So let us write, when all are equal, what should we get? We should get coincident lines. So I'll write 5x minus 3y is equal to 11. Second is minus 10x plus 6y is equal to minus 22. You can see they are one over another. So coincident lines. So there is another video for calculate algebraically and this is for verification of the graph when both teacher and students can use to verify very easily or to comprehend more. Thank you for watching.